Classrooms are becoming increasingly high tech, and while teachers are incorporating technology into their daily curriculum, parents should ask how their child's eyes and vision will be affected. Joining me with a few answers is Dr. James Sheedy of American Optometric Association. Welcome, James. Thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure, Nikki. Well, technology is certainly a very hot topic across the entire world these days. And I want to ask you what types of new technology in the classroom can actually affect a child's vision? Oh, Nikki, you know, today isn't it wonderful? We're seeing all these computers, we're seeing handheld devices, we're mm -hmm. seeing 3D displays, and uh, it's all being implemented in the classroom. And I, I think some of the uh, greatest challenges today involve the uh, 3D technology and, and the uh, handheld devices. Absolutely. So now, in addition to that, although there are a lot of benefits, we're also seeing some problems that are being caused by these high-tech classrooms. What are some of those problems? Yeah, uh, and first of all, I want to say that I think we should embrace these new technologies. Mm -hmm. They offer lots of advantages. Sure. Uh, and also, we are not causing any damage to the eyes. Uh, uh, our recent survey showed that a lot of parents are concerned about damage to the, to, to the visual system. Okay. That's not happening. But these new technologies do increase the demands upon the visual system. So many people or kids mm -hmm. uh, have got marginal vision disorders that express themselves now when they're taxed so much. Interesting. Well, okay, so we're looking at benefits, but we're also looking at some problems that are occurring. So how do we minimize the eye issues but still allow the kids to benefit from all the new technology at the same time? Well, it's sort of a two-pronged approach. Number okay. one, uh, we want to make sure that the technologies are implemented as well as they can be. And to that end, we're publishing a, uh, uh, a classroom guideline, 3D in the classroom, which mm. is actually intended for teachers, uh, but also uh, parents could benefit from it. And, and the, the second prong is to make sure that our kids have got good vision. Mm. And to that end, we recommend an annual eye examinations. And, and this time of year, when we're buying uh, books and pencils, for our kids, I think it's a good time to make sure that they've got the right vision skills uh, for, le for the uh, learning process. It's great advice. I mean, I think even people with perfect vision can say that at the end of a day, sitting reading a computer, your eyes start to hurt. So it affects everybody. So what can parents actually do to make sure that children maintain that optimal eye health? Well, of course, the annual eye exam also recommend that the parents become rather actively engaged in what their kids are doing at school. Uh, mm -hmm. What technologies are they viewing? Are they comfortable viewing those technologies? Are they appreciating the depth in the 3D? Uh, are they getting any discomfort or are they getting dizzy as a result of it? Uh, or worse yet, are they avoiding it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes kids are a lot brighter than we adults. If it hurts, they don't do it. Right. Absolutely. And you mentioned an annual exam, but would you say in addition to that annual exam that there's uh, other times of year that you would recommend that the children receive those comprehensive eye exams? Well, you know, annually, I okay. would recommend. This okay. just happens to be a particularly good time of the year. But, you know, children's vision can change quite quickly, just as they're growing so quickly. Their sure. vision and their eyes can change quite quickly. So, you know, if, if, even if it's less than uh, a, a year and you're start, they're starting to have symptoms or you're noting odd behavior, like they're avoiding things mm. or they're closing an eye or they're rubbing their eyes a lot, okay. uh, that's an indication that something should be done. Great advice. Well, Dr. Sheedy, thank you so much for joining us this morning and giving us this very valuable information. Is there anywhere we can go for more details? Yes. Uh, I recommend uh, that you visit www.aoa.org. And another great website is 3dihealth.org. Fantastic. Thanks, Dr. Sheedy. We appreciate your advice. My pleasure.